following the latest challenge of Cameron Balzer. Last time we met him, he was on an ultra marathon to raise awareness about suicide. Went for 100 miles in less than 24 hours, and that wasn't enough. Now he started a new challenge, and uh, Randall Newsom joins us with his story. You had a chance to catch up with him on this trail? Yes, I did. And Scott, I don't understand why 100 miles wasn't enough. I, I can't figure that part out. But Cameron's Run Love Ride has raised his effort against suicide to new heights. But he told me his latest marathon pushed him harder than he's ever been pushed before. One feeling describes Cameron Balzer's latest feat in his marathon against suicide. Pain. I mean, unreal pain. I've never felt pain like that before. His last journey on his Run Love Ride gave him confidence. 100 miles on foot in less than 24 hours. But this race was a different animal. By the time I hit 25 miles, I was more sore than I was at 80 miles on my last one. Instead of flatland, he had an uphill battle to fight. The total of elevation I climbed is 20,000 feet. Out of the gate, he knew it was going to be tough, and his will started to break. I can't do this because it was raining, it was muddy, I was falling down. But then a familiar voice gave him the push he needed. He wanted to quit 40 miles in, and we were like, no, you got, you got 100 miles in you. She built him back up physically and mentally. Uh, she took care of my feet, shook out my legs. I mean, up. if I didn't have that, I don't think I would have got 50 miles. I was there to pick him up, clean him up, massage him, and get him back out there. I kept grinding, and I found more and more and more. Reminding him of why he's on this journey, the ones who didn't make it this far. And I've lost some people. Uh, and it was for them, and I, I kept moving on. Jennifer was there during that time, too. Her voice, one of the few that kept Cameron from taking his own life. It's been a rough journey. Uh, in the beginning, it was really rough and just scary. It's that dark place where you, you just don't think you're ever going to get out. In both journeys, the support made the difference. Don't be scared to get help. Uh, you know, people are so terrified that you know, someone's going to find out they have something wrong with them. But Cameron knows now more than ever, a little help can go a long way. Spreading love, spreading awareness that people go through things that are unimaginable. You got to reach out. Uh, you know, there's, there's somebody that's going to be out there that wants to help you. His one love ride, showing others that no matter how dark it gets, there's a light that can lead you out. Yeah, for more on Cameron's Run Love Ride, you can visit our website, wishtv.com. All right, so 100 wasn't enough. He's <laughs> no. proven that he's not going to stop. Mm -hmm. So what is next for him? Next for him, he's not, of course, he's not letting it go. That mm -hmm. 200 miles, he wants it. He's going to try for it again in Michigan. Um, of course, he's going to have to do a little healing first. That, that knee's acting up, so he's going to have to get off that for a while. I'm not putting it past him. I mean, he looks like the kind of guy who'll get it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's, uh, he invited uh, me and you to do it, so... Uh, Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> what do you think? Me Relay. And you, Scott, yeah. I got a mile, you got a mile, you can get 98. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, Drew can pick up whatever's left. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about all this. <laughs> I think maybe on a bike. Let's yeah, just yeah, maybe on a bike. car. Maybe, yeah. it's, How yeah. else are we going to document it with cameras? Yeah, we should just right. take the car and just follow it. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Randall. No problem. It is 8.30.